butterfly, so sexy, Brenda girl. New Nintendo Switch game from Super Rare Games. It's not new, is it? Let's be honest. It's been out digitally for ages, probably on other systems. <laughs> That's how these work. These games are super rare. So let's open it up. Um, anyone who's had a super rare delivery in the past week will know exactly what this is. It is, of course, the one and only Lil Guardsman, baby. So I'm going to check this game out. I'm going to open it up. Um, I'm not going to open up the stickers and all that other stuff. We've seen all that jazz before. But I'm going to open it up, give it a play, uh, let you know what I think. This is what everyone else thinks with the reviews on the screen right now for you guys to see. And let's find out what I think. See you in a minute. I'll tell you what, fair play to Super Rare. Isn't that nice to see? A manual. Oh. <laughs> Lil Guardsman is a little banger of a game. It is good. It is good. The critics are right with this one. So basically your dad is in this sort of, um, well, he's in a little guardian room. He's protecting like a kingdom. So it's sort of medieval vibe. Um, and he is, wants you, you're the child, so you're the daughter of um, of this guardsman, and he wants you just to work for one day, being the guardsman, so he's got to go put a bet on the pub, and there's some funny dialogue um, about, you've just got to do it, you can't complain, because the same thing happened with my dad, he wanted to go to the pub, it's very tongue-in-cheek with the humour, what I like about it is, it's not just text. You don't just read text. It's actual, the whole thing is voice acting, which is very good. The text at the bottom, but it's not like there's some bits. Everything is. All the different characters that you interact with all speak to you, which, to be honest with you, is quite rare these days, especially some of these bloody Nintendo games. You either have gibberish like Sims language or just some of the characters do. But um, no, this is all voice acted, which is very appreciated. So thank you, um, whoever made this game, which was Tiny Build. So they're the developer on there. Um, so you are working as a guardsman and basically you have five or six people um, that come up to you each day, um, which is like each level. And your job is to decide whether to allow them into the kingdom or deny them into the kingdom. Um, and then there is a button to send them to jail, but I haven't unlocked that bit yet. Um, and then you basically interrogate them as they come up. So they've all got different stories. Um, you to interrogate them there is basically three people you can phone each day um, and one is like a gesture like a comedian comic who doesn't seem to give any knowledge one of them is like a warrior like a knight lady um, so you, there's certain characters you, you'd ask advice from different characters if you know what I mean and the other one's like a politician so if in serious you ask her if it's a warrior or like a bounty hunter you ask the warrior one or the knight one um, and then you also have things like metal detector um, or you can scan them and see what contraband they've got on them. Um, what else can you do? You can spray a little truth syrup to get them talking. But certain things work on certain characters, and there's only you can only use one of each of those things across each level. So say there's four things you can use. There's obviously six people, so you can only you've got to pick and choose when to use it basically. So it's really good, um, and you get three action points per person. So if someone comes up to you, you can ring three people, but then you can't use any of the other stuff, like the truth syrup spray, um, the metal detectors, all those other little fun bits um, you wouldn't be able to use. You've got to really pick and choose what you do. There's a really good tutorial, tutorial that starts it off with, so it tells you within two minutes of playing the game, you know exactly what to do. So it's really fun and eases you in. Um, there is also a bit of a story that evolves. So there is a little sort of time machine device and basically, that just lets you know that if you mess up, you can go backwards. So once you do the first or second level, um, yeah, it's so after the first day, you basically go see your dad, tell him how things gone. Um, and then there's a bit of like a comedy story where they sort of bit tongue in cheek again, where basically you know that you'll end up doing the job for your dad on his behalf while he's drinking, getting drunk and doing his bets in a pub. And then someone comes up to you and says, by the way, at the end of each day, You've only you've got to get so you get rated out of like three or four stars or whatever the system is. You've got to get more than two stars on each go. If not, you get sacked. So you know you've got to keep it up, and you can use a time machine if you think you've messed up to rewind back, which I'm guessing you can only do once or so. I haven't used it yet. However, I was playing it. I was going to play for like a good few hours and then do the video, but I already <laughs> I already know it's good, so I thought I'd do a little quick ten minute review on it, um, and I just died. So. And it's really funny, again, the humour of the game. So, like, it was like, oh, I didn't know it was this sort of game. It come up, game over. Basically, I ran out of things to interrogate someone with, and I knew they was crazy. 
and there was no way I was letting them in the kingdom. I was going to put deny, but it didn't even let me to. It was like it was acknowledging that I had messed up, and I knew there was a threat. I couldn't prove there was a threat, um, but before I could deny them, she basically lit a molotov. Is it molotov? You know the alcohol, and you light a little bomb. She basically blew. She killed me, and it come up game over. And then you can retry that level again. So it's actually really, really good. Really good humour. I love the fact that it's voice acted. Um, there's loads of cool characters. And it's a very, very unique game. Because I've played games a little bit like this. I played one that was called... Um, I can't remember what it was called. But it's a very unique game. If I say this story now, it'll sound crazy. You basically play... It was like pixelated 2D graphics. Very retro inspired. Um, I can't remember the name of it. But basically you play a bouncer... And it was during like EU times um, where like it was all kicking off if we were staying or going. And that was sort of the name of it. I think it was called Not Tonight. That's what it's called. It was called Not Tonight. I'm sure it was. I'll pop it on the screen. And you basically, um, you're a bouncer. You control who doesn't come in and stuff. And you take a few bribes. And it reminded me a little bit of this. <clears throat> this is a more intrusive version. But you also, like when you search people and stuff, whatever you find. I was trying to do the right thing. And I was like, yep, yeah, okay give things back. You're supposed to confiscate things and you give it to your dad and he spends the money. So you're supposed to be taking things, even if it's their stuff, like their money, you're supposed to take it off them. So you're supposed to be a bit of a, a bit of a prick. Um, and also, um, there's like one of the character, it's, you've got like a little bold and it says what you're supposed to do is protect the kingdom. So anyone who's not human, so you get these like goblins and ogres and other creatures, are supposed to be very tough on them. They don't want them coming in. So sometimes there'll be like someone who's coming in to do a bit of painting and there'll be a goblin or an ogre and there's nothing wrong with them, and you feel like you should let them in, but like you're supposed to be protecting the kingdom, and you speak to someone on the phone, they're like, oh, why can't a human do that job? So you deny them, you feel like a prick, and then you feel sorry for the character, the dialogue, he's like, oh, we can't even, and you feel like it's, do you know what I mean, you've made the wrong decision, and then you get three stars, and it will tell you why, and it's like, yes, you've obeyed the kingdom's script, um, you've honoured it, you, you know, you're trying to protect, so yeah, there's lots to it, so there's a little board, and it changes each day, and tells you things to look out with, so like the last level, for example, there was three, it warned me about um, two or three raw people coming and um, not to let the fourth one in. And there was nothing wrong with the fourth one. I should have let him in, I felt like, but the board said not to and I did it and it rewarded me for following the instructions. So there's definitely a, a story here and there are sometimes you do something that comes up that your action has a consequence. So I'm sure as the game evolves, who knows, there might be like an uproar, oppression, you might get overthrown, I don't know. Um, there might be more to the story with a time machine thing. So yeah, it looks like a really good game. Obviously, I don't want to play too much, reveal too much, and then ruin the story. So I don't know how long the game is. I'll pop on the screen now how long the game does take to complete. I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, Little Guardsman. I got it from Super Rare. Um, physical. I'm assuming it'd be expensive if it's sold out. So I'll pop on the screen now how much the game is digitally. Um, yeah, that's just a quick little 10-minute review. If anyone wants to see any more gameplay, just let me know. Um, I've either put on the screen a trailer for you guys to see or a couple minute footage of, of my gameplay. But yeah, I'm Scott Marathon Gaming. Let me know in the comments if you played this game or if you want to know more or if you think it's trash. It's your opinion. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye. I'm Mario. And I am the Hedgehog. And today, with this. <laughs>